fear. It's a powerful emotion. It can hold us back. But what if I told you that fear can also be a catalyst? Facing your fears is the key to unlocking your best life. When we confront our fears, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We break free from limitations and step into our true potential. Fear of failure, rejection, and the unknown can be paralyzing, but challenging those thoughts can lead to magic. Imagine a life where fear no longer dictates your decisions. A life where you feel empowered to pursue your passions, take risks, and chase your dreams. Transforming your relationship with fear turns it from a roadblock into a stepping stone. True growth requires discomfort and stepping outside of our comfort zones. Every time we face a fear, we expand our limits. Courage isn't the absence of fear, it's acting in spite of it. By confronting our fears, we break free from self-imposed limitations. We develop resilience, confidence, and a deep sense of self-belief. Fear is as ancient as life itself. It's etched into our DNA, a primal instinct passed down through generations. Fear was our ancestors' ally, triggering the fight-or-flight response that kept them alive. This physiological response to fear is hardwired into us. Even today, fear serves a vital purpose, like slamming the brakes when a car veers into your lane. These instinctive reactions demonstrate the protective power of fear. But while fear was designed for immediate physical dangers, the modern world presents a different landscape. Most of us aren't facing down saber-toothed tigers or fleeing from wildfires. Today, fear manifests in countless ways, far removed from immediate physical danger. We experience social fear, terrified of judgment, rejection, or criticism. We harbor fear of failure, paralyzed by the thought of not measuring up. These fears, while real, aren't about physical survival. They're about protecting our egos. Modern life amplifies these fears through social media and constant news cycles. The pressure to succeed can leave us feeling overwhelmed and afraid. Ironically, our fears often prevent us from truly living. When fear dictates our choices, we limit our experiences and potential. Here's the paradox of fear. What we resist persists. The more we try to avoid our fears, the bigger they loom in our minds. This avoidance creates a vicious cycle, reinforcing the belief that the source is something to be feared. Breaking free requires a shift in perspective. Instead of viewing fear as an enemy, see it as a signal and an opportunity for growth. Facing our fears, we take back our power. We choose courage over comfort, growth over stagnation. On the other side of our fears lies freedom and fulfillment. Think about the most successful people you admire. They dared to face their fears. Oprah Winfrey didn't let her fear of public speaking stop her from connecting with millions. Michael Jordan embraced every missed shot as an opportunity to learn and grow. He famously said, I've failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. These stories highlight a powerful truth. Success is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. When we choose courage over comfort, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. Acknowledge the fear, feel it fully, and take action anyway. Consider Steve Jobs, a visionary who revolutionized technology. Jobs didn't play it safe. He faced countless setbacks but never gave up on his dreams. Jobs embraced uncertainty, famously saying, You can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. This trust in the unknown is a hallmark of those who achieve greatness. Job's story reminds us that the path to success is rarely linear. By facing our fears and embracing uncertainty, we can achieve extraordinary things. Trust in your ability to navigate the unknown. From J.K. Rowling to Elon Musk triumph over adversity, J.K. Rowling faced rejection after rejection before finding a publisher. Imagine the fear and self-doubt, but she persevered. Elon Musk, pushing the boundaries of space exploration and renewable energy, has faced setbacks and criticism. Yet he continues to dream big and challenge conventional thinking. These stories remind us that fear is universal, but they also show that fear does not have to define us. Choose courage over comfort and create a meaningful life.
Facing your fears isn't just about conquering a specific obstacle. It's about changing how your brain perceives fear. Imagine your brain as a powerful computer, processing information to keep you safe. When you avoid something out of fear, you reinforce neural pathways that associate that situation with danger. Confronting that fear creates a new pathway, connecting facing fear with a positive outcome. The more you choose courage, the stronger this new pathway becomes. Over time, your brain recognizes that the perceived threat isn't as dangerous. This rewiring process unlocks your potential. With each act of courage, you build new neural connections, empowering you to face future challenges. When we live in fear, we operate from a scarcity mindset. We focus on what we lack and what might go wrong. This mindset traps us in self-doubt and inaction. Facing our fears shifts us to an abundance mindset. An abundance mindset believes in enough opportunities and resources for everyone. It focuses on potential for growth and success. This shift allows us to approach challenges with optimism, trust in your resilience and the power of perseverance. Courage is a muscle that grows stronger with each challenge we face. Every time you step outside your comfort zone, you give your courage muscle a workout. Consistency is key. The more you practice, the less intimidating fears become. This increased resilience allows you to navigate life's challenges with grace. Start with small, manageable steps. Choose one fear, break it down, and take action. Celebrate each victory and use it as fuel to keep moving forward. With consistent effort, you'll become stronger and more resilient. Identifying and acknowledging your fears is the first step. Often, our fears lurk in the shadows, disguised as excuses or procrastination. Reflect on your life and goals. What dreams have you tucked away, fearing they're too big or risky? Shine a light on your fears and bring them into the open. Acknowledge your fear by writing it down or sharing it with someone. The act of acknowledging your fear diminishes its power. Remember, you are not your fears. They are temporary and subject to change. Breaking down the walls of fear. Imagine standing at the base of a towering wall, representing your fear. You don't have to climb the entire wall in one go. Focus on breaking down the wall into smaller, manageable bricks. Take one small step today to face your fear. Each small victory builds momentum and confidence. You'll see the fear wasn't as insurmountable as you believed. Section 3 taking action from fear to freedom. Action is the antidote to fear. Act before fear paralyzes you. Remember the exhilaration after pushing past fear? That's the feeling of freedom. Confront your fear head on. Build momentum and self-belief. Take a small step today. The moment you start moving, fear loses its grip. Section four, reflect, adjust, and keep moving forward. Facing your fears isn't a one-and-done deal. It's an ongoing process of growth, learning, and adaptation. As you continue to challenge yourself and step outside your comfort zone, take the time to reflect on your experiences. What worked well? What could you have done differently? What did you learn about yourself in the process? Journaling can be an incredibly powerful tool for self-reflection. After facing a fear, take a few minutes to write down your thoughts and feelings. What were you most afraid of? How did you feel before, during, and after the experience? What did you learn about yourself? By reflecting on your experiences, you gain valuable insights that can help you navigate future challenges with greater ease and confidence. Remember, the path to growth is rarely linear. There will be setbacks, challenges, and moments when you might feel like giving up. But it's in these moments more than ever that it's crucial to remember your why. Why is facing this fear important to you? What are you hoping to achieve by overcoming it? Connecting with your why will fuel your motivation and help you stay the course even when the going gets tough. Section 1. Courage, a catalyst for positive change. Facing your fears is not an isolated act. It's not just about conquering one specific obstacle. It's about creating a ripple effect of positive change that touches every aspect of your life. When you make a conscious decision to confront what scares you, you're not just overcoming that one fear, 
you're building a foundation of courage that will support you in all your endeavors. This newfound courage becomes a catalyst, propelling you forward in ways you never thought possible. It empowers you to make bolder decisions, to set bigger goals, and to pursue your passions with greater zeal and determination. The confidence you gain from facing one fear spills over into other areas of your life, creating a domino effect of positive transformation. Imagine for a moment that you've been wanting to have a difficult conversation with someone, a friend, family member, or colleague. Fear might have kept you silent, allowing resentment or misunderstanding to fester. But when you summon the courage to have that conversation, to speak your truth with honesty and respect, you not only address the immediate issue but also strengthen your communication skills and deepen your relationships. This ripple effect of courage extends far beyond your personal life. It impacts your career, your relationships, your health, and your overall well-being. In the workplace, courage empowers you to take on new challenges, to voice your ideas with confidence, and to pursue leadership roles that you might have once deemed out of reach. It allows you to shine brighter, contribute more fully, and create a more fulfilling and impactful career path. In your relationships, courage fosters deeper connections, more open communication, and a greater capacity for intimacy and vulnerability. When you're willing to be courageous in your interactions with others, you create a safe space for authenticity, empathy, and genuine connection. This authenticity, in turn, attracts others who value these qualities, leading to more fulfilling and meaningful relationships. Your health and well-being also benefit from the ripple effect of courage. When you're courageous enough to face your fears, you're also more likely to prioritize your physical and mental health. You're more inclined to make healthier choices, to set boundaries that protect your well-being, and to seek support when needed. This proactive approach to your health creates a positive feedback loop, leading to increased energy, vitality, and overall life satisfaction. One of the most pervasive and paralyzing fears we face is the fear of failure. It's that nagging voice that whispers, what if I'm not good enough? But here's the truth. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of the journey. It's impossible to grow, to learn, to achieve anything worthwhile without encountering setbacks. Imagine a child learning to walk. Do they give up the first time they stumble and fall? No, they pick themselves up and try again. Each fall is a learning opportunity, a chance to adjust and try a different approach. Section 2. Reframing Failure Lessons and Opportunities the key to overcoming the fear of failure lies in reframing how we perceive it. Instead of viewing failure as a negative, see it as a learning opportunity. Thomas Edison said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Each failure brings us closer to success. We gain valuable data and refine our approach. We develop resilience and problem-solving skills. Embrace failure to innovate and discover your true potential. Section 3. The Power of Perspective. Shifting Your Narrative. The most significant obstacle to overcoming fear is the story we tell ourselves about failure. We personalize setbacks, interpreting them as evidence we're not good enough. Challenge these negative self-beliefs and rewrite the narrative. Instead of saying, I failed, say, I learned and I'm better equipped to move forward. Failure is not a destination, it's a detour. Section 1. Your Life Unlocked. We've talked about fear, how it holds us back, how it keeps us small. But more importantly, we've explored how to break free. Because on the other side of fear, that's where you find your best life. Think about what we've covered. It starts with understanding fear itself. It's not the enemy, it's a signal. It tells you what matters enough to grow for. Then look at the examples. Every hero you admire, every success story, they all faced those same fears. The difference? They acted anyway. You have that same power within you to rewire your thinking, to shift from scarcity to abundance. Every time you face a fear, you're not just overcoming that one obstacle. You're building a muscle, the courage muscle, and it gets stronger with every rep. Section 2. Join the journey. So what are you waiting for? The life you deserve is out there, waiting for you to claim it. It's time to stop playing small to stop letting fear dictate your choices. Start by identifying one fear, just one, that you want to tackle. Break it down into smaller steps and then take action. 
Remember, you don't have to do this alone. Surround yourself with supportive people, mentors, friends who believe in you. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small. And when you stumble, because you will, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going. The journey to your best life starts with a single step. Take that step today. Face your fear, unlock your potential, and embrace the incredible life that awaits you. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and remember, I believe in you, even if you don't yet believe in yourself.